Also three, one, two, three. The 2012 team was special because we grew together and, and got better together and believed in one another. From the very first game of the year, I felt like I had 34 brothers basically. It's kind of the first team that I've been on where everyone kind of understood each other. I think that's really what helped, helped contribute to our success. And for the first time, we will see the number one seed for this tournament, the Seahawks of UNC Wilmington facing the Rams of Virginia Commonwealth. There's the called strike on the outside corner for the strikeout. I think extremely early on we knew that we had the pieces to put a special season together. I think before the season even started, just coming into it, everyone knew that the talent was there and the potential was there. We just needed to go out on the field and, and put it to work and, and try our hardest to get everything out of one another so that we could reach our fullest potential. Strokes it into center field. Still going back, still going back, turns and he can't get to it. It's a two-run homer for Matt Campbell. This might be an RBI as the ball is smacked into the left center gap and it's going to get down for a base hit. One run comes across, a second run is coming in, and it'll be a double as sliding in is Thomas Pope. Line drive over the head of the third baseman, another run will trot in. Ground ball, this may make it through the middle, and it does. Ridge will send one over to Ridge. I knew that the 2012 team was going to be special from when Thomas Pope singled in the game we were in in the bottom of the ninth. This will score the go-ahead run. It was my first game at UNCW and I thought it was a really good start to the season because we show that we can fight through kind of tough situations. That ball is well hit to left field. Pope will go back, reach up, and make the catch. And runner's going to go. Here's the throw to the second baseman. My personal favorite moment during the season was catching Matt Bats in the uh, conference tournament. You can run on for a long time. Having complete dominance over a team with that and being in such good sync with my pitcher, it was like there was no one else out there, just us. Lazy gotta cut you down. Sooner lazy gotta cut you down. Swing and a miss for strikeout number nine. That is strikeout number 10, and that ties his season and UNCW career high. Swing and a miss, and that is a career high. 11 Ks for Matt Bats. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. A personal moment that really sticks out to me would be our road trip to TCU last year. It was a big road series for us, and I hit a uh, go-ahead home run in the ninth inning uh, at their place to give us the lead going into the bottom of the ninth. Kelly ended up coming in and closing the game down for us, and that was a big win and gave us a lot of momentum going in uh, to the latter half of the season. Midnight rider, tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell him that God's gonna cut you down. Tell them that God's gonna cut you down. Tell them that God's gonna cut you down. A big turning point in the season was the home sweep uh, against the uh, CAA rival, uh, JMU. They were the preseason number one team in the conference, and they came to our place and we swept them. It was like we couldn't do anything wrong. We just put it all together, and like right then, it's like I figured out like this is gonna be a special season. And I'd say that that turned our season around. I'm excited for this upcoming spring season because it's my senior year and it's my last year to really leave an impression, not only on my, you know, myself and my history book, but with the school. I think this upcoming season is going to be great. I think we have a lot of new guys that will help a lot and with what we did last year, I think we can build on it and uh, do it again. No, I don't want to